Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah and today we are continuing our legacy challenge and I'm very excited very very excited as a lot of you guys know this is my favorite let's play and i know it's a lot of your guys' favorite too so that makes me happy so i know i told you guys on twitch that i wanted to do some legacy updates on a twitch stream but i have had quite the week and i'm having kind of a hard time and i feel like everyone is kind of having a hard time right now i've noticed like a lot of people <clears throat> like posting about it and saying it in their videos and stuff like that so i know that i'm not the only one i hope that you guys are hanging in there i hope that you guys are good and in the comments i was very happy to read that you guys like kieran you love the name which makes me also very happy if you missed the last episode we moved alice out she goes to uni now ren had her baby is a baby boy his name is kieran what else happened we did a lot of skill building in the last episode so and we're still working towards charlie and stella <clears throat> excuse me <laughs> charlie and stella having 10 kids so we're gonna work on that some more today i've got a peach vibe celsius today so let's crack open crack open a cold one <laughs> and get into it cheers Okay guys, here we are back on the Legacy lot. So, so, so happy to be here. As you can see, I made a few adjustments to the home. So basically all I did was I added a staircase here behind the TV, which leads up to this little area. It's just the hallway with a hall table. And then we've got a bunch of, here I'll try and show you, a bunch of family photos. I took these off camera because I knew it was gonna take a while, but um, here's one of Charlie grilling. We've got all kinds of pictures with the kids. Um, Charlie and Stella, a few over there. <laughs> so yeah, I know it's a little bit empty. I still want to add more things. Oh, and that needs wallpaper right there. Oh well. Okay, so this is just an upstairs bathroom that I added just to have more space. I mean, more um, bathroom options for everybody. Nice and clean, love it. And then heading this way, we've got Felix's room. Um, I wasn't really sure what to put in here. I put some sporty things and I put a Strangerville poster. And um, yeah, it's just, it's real clean looking. I like clean stuff, really like, <sighs> I don't even know how to explain it, but I'm sure he'll clutter it up living in it. <laughs> And then down here, down this hall, I don't even know if Sims can squeeze through here. Hopefully, um, this is just another room. I don't know what I want to do with it yet, but it's empty. Uh, yeah, so I guess when I guess when we have more kids or whatever, I don't know. I just have a feeling we're gonna need an extra room. And then let me show you um, Zoe's house. I finished it. If you guys missed it in the last episode, we moved Zoe into the little get the little um, hut. Sorry, we call them huts here, not a guest house. <laughs> we moved her in this little hut. Um, so, uh, so one of you guys said that purple should be her color, and I actually really liked that. So here we have <clears throat> a very purpley themed living space. It's kind of, um, I don't want to say spooky, but it's definitely witchy for sure. Um, I love this bookcase. It's so cool. This is her little desk area. And then coming over here into her bedroom. Um, oh, I'm obsessed. I would love to live in this bedroom. I don't know who's calling, but I want the game to be paused. I don't know why it's not paused. Why are you not paused? Oh god, did someone die? Oh no, not Max! And there's Dorian. Oh my gosh, Max Jr. I just gave him his elder makeover too. Rest in peace, Max Jr., am I right? Dang. That freaking sucks. I loved him. He never got married or had any kids. Um, so yeah, this is the other side of her room. I'm gonna get her a little fishy fish. Uh, I left the bathroom the same as when Olive lived here. And yeah, I think that's all the- oh yeah, Kieran's room. Kieran's room is over here. I did a black and like forest green theme. Um, I still want to add more things, but can you just pause for a second? <laughs> um, so yeah, black and forest green it is. I just did this really, really quick because I wanted to film this video because I haven't uploaded in a while and I'm sorry about that. But the lot needed its 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 updates, so it was very quick. <laughs> Charlie, we need to give you a shirt. Not really sure what's going on there. Man, that really sucks. 
I loved Max Jr. It was bound to happen. So I asked you guys in the last episode what you think we should do about Kieran's dad. And um, a lot of you guys want him or want me to give him a chance. But the thing is, though, is Homeboy is married and he has two other kids. So I don't know. I don't know. It's a, it's a freaking slippery slope. Allow access to Kieran. Go to sleep. Ren, can you tuck him in, please? Thank you. All right, Luna is off to school, so go ahead and listen to teacher. Felix, you need to go to school as well. You're a teen, right? Why don't you have to go to school? Oh, because you just aged up. Where's that loud music coming from? Oh my word. What the heck is this? Breakfast scramble. Nice. Uh, okay. You listen to teacher as well, Zoe. Right, so... I f totally forgot, but, um, yeah, she's doing it right now. She's freaking pregnant. Uh, I forgot I had them try for baby. Um, yeah, I had them try for baby in the last episode, but I for freaking forgot to get Stella to take a pregnancy test. And I need to change my settings. <laughs> I have it at 100% pregnancy rate from just woohooing and um i forgot to turn it off before we did our twitch stream and now our sim in the twitch stream is pregnant and you guys want me to keep it so we're keeping it but i need to just like turn it off really quick because holy cannoli so that's just too many babies you know okay so i set the risky woohoo percent back down to 20 it was at 100 so <laughs> that should help with that. I do like to have a little bit of percentage turned on just because um, realism, love me some realism. So yeah, there's only a 20% chance now that Sims will get pregnant from normal woohoos. Okay, and Stella's freaking pregnant. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so we have one more spot in the household right now. That will be their fifth child. No, 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 I'm sorry, their fourth, their fourth child. Six more kids. I think we could do it with potions of youth though. People like you, look around. Oh my gosh, Felix is freaking makeover, dude. Oh, rough man. I mean, he's not ugly. He's just, he's just thick. He, you know what? He does look like a Bellamy boy, 100%. He looks like Stella's brothers, definitely. Him and Ren better not flirt. I swear if that happens, I'm going to blow my freaking lid off. Hey, Charlie's playing Sims. That's what I'm talking about. What were we doing for you, though? Like, what skills? Ah, uh, charisma and cooking. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Well, why don't you cook some breakfast? Clean out spoiled food. Um, num, 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 num. Serve breakfast. Do some pancakes. So we'll, we'll try and max his cooking skills today. We'll try and max his charisma skill as well. Um, his... I'm pretty sure his parenting skill will get like really high once we have all the kids. Same with Stella. It'll probably be maxed. Stella's feeling pumped. Let's do an energized workout. So for Stella, uh, right, wellness, parenting. Her fitness is pretty high. I mean, it's not bad, but I did want to work on her magic some more. We were able to get her, 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 her magic level. Where is it? I think she's level four. Yeah, so we're working on getting to level five. Hopefully she can be a virtuoso at some point. I think that would be really awesome. So that's the plan for Stella. Um, who's calling Zoe? Oh, Olive. <laughs> she's like, hey, Chadwick. Yeah, that's Tane's brother. Tane was my friend, I think. <laughs> I get so confused. Also, for Felix, what did we want to do for you? What was your aspiration again? Strangerville Mystery, that's right. That was really weird. I don't think we're going to be able to max anything for him unless we do something really easy like like uh, media production or dancing or um, what other skills are just five? We could do photography. That's only five. What are his traits again? Good and creative. <gasps> Yeah, maybe we can try and max his photography skill before he leaves. That would be kind of cool. Weak bloodline. Wait. He's not a spellcaster, is he? No, he's not. I wonder why that's that's there then. Let's check out the calendar to see what we got coming up. Talent showcase, starlight accolades, rebate day, Winterfest Eve. Yeah, 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 yeah. So 
Yeah, so coming up, it'll be the anniversary of Olive's death of a year. Uh, we've got Charlie's birthday, but we're giving him Potion of Youth. And then Kieran's birthday. Okay. Exciting. Very exciting stuff. Okay, and then for Ren, I think the skill that we were working on for her right now is wellness. Because she maxed her baking skill in the last episode. And her wellness skill is at 6. So come over here and let's just get her to practice yoga. I do want to get her a massage chair. I think that would be rad. Oh my god, look who's here visiting. <gasps> No yoga, no yoga. Say hello to your freaking daughter. What's wrong, babes? She's like, I hate uni. It's hard. I haven't made any friends yet. I miss home. That's exactly how I was. I'm sure she's going through the same thing. So, Ren, please make her feel better. Offer mental relaxation tips. Yes, definitely. Ask about degree. Um, bring up embarrassing childhood moment. Make a vampire pun. <laughs> and then, let's see, let's see, let's see. What else can we do? Let's ask, ask to be pushed on swings. Spend some time together. I miss her though, so much. So, so much. All right, Miss Stella, what are you doing? You having a shower? Okay, good, the pancakes are finished, great. Dorian wants to throw us a baby shower? Probably not. It's not the right time. That's so strange though, Dorian. How sweet. Oh, Felix, what the heck, dude? Didn't I assign this bed to you? All right, there you go. Okay, Luna is now a B student, which is great. And oh my gosh, those moods though, those moods. Okay, get some sleep, guys. Get some freaking shut eye. This family has such a weird sleep schedule. Like it's 4 p.m. and they're all asleep. <laughs> so funny. There's Jocelyn. We gave this girl a makeover to be potentially one of... One of whose friends? Zoe's. Oh, that's so sweet. Alice is here and she's just doing her homework. She seems way more content now that she's, that she's home than she did when she first got here. I feel so bad for her because... I know the feeling, dude. I know the freaking feeling. And Charlie is here very, very sad about the death of... Max Jr. I don't blame him, but I think he should get more sleep though. There you go, level seven. Okay, come over here and take a bath, and then we need to um, super sell all of the plants because we haven't made that much money lately. <laughs> I've been like neglecting the garden for sure. Dang, we haven't harvested these plants in so long. <laughs> Whoopsie! They're all still alive and kicking though. Look at that. So for Luna's aspiration, she wants to read with an adult for two hours. So I'm going to get Charlie to read with her. Just get that done. Oh my god, there's so much going on. So much going on. Come on, you guys. Read together. Why are there- Oh my god, the freaking ghosts are just everywhere and everything is broken. Dude, I thought having a graveyard on the lot would be a good idea, but it's definitely not. How cute is that, though? Uh-oh. I think baby's sick. Hey, that was not two hours. You guys, Alice is back again. She can't stay away and she's so sad again. Oh my god, she's depressed. That's so freaking sad. Aww. Ask her for typing tips. <laughs> oh, okay, so let's see, let's see, let's see. Who's not busy? Ren, why don't you come over here and potty train Karen a bunch of times so we can get that potty skill up? What do we got here? Romance festival, huh? Interesting. This bean is just working on her fitness skill as usual. Did she do her homework yet? No, not yet. Okay, let's get her to do that after she's done. There's too many sims to freaking keep track of. This is honestly probably the hardest part of this challenge is having the 10 kids in a generation thing because, wow, this is hard. I feel like I'm just like constantly jumping back and forth between them, just like making sure they're good. <laughs> Oh, look at where little, little, little baby Zoe decided to do her homework. Isn't this cute? The loss of someone dear to us is never easy. My condolences. 
Okay. Wow, look at her go. Wow, go Stella. Hell yeah, that's what I like to see. That's my girl. Ooh, a new potion recipe. Um, emotional stability. That sounds pretty good. Another thing that I wanted to get her to do was... Oh, wow. She needs all the apples from the trees because, uh... Ooh, and they're ready. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Harvest apples. Because I want her to make potions of... What are they called? Potions of plentiful needs. <laughs> so that... You know, everyone's always in a good mood. That would be so clutch. I'm gonna give it a shot. Aw, look at Ren over there playing with Kieran. How sweet. Okay, keep potty training him. Miss Stella harvesting the apples to make potions to make potions. It's so weird. We just super sold everything and everything is ready to be super sold again. That is crazy. That is so much freaking money. Like an obscene amount. If we, like, if I kept up with super selling everything every day, yeah, we'll be millionaires in no time. I mean, I think we've already been millionaires, right? We'll be multi-millionaires. <laughs> All right, so Stella has 99 plus apples. Love to see it. So let's go ahead and brew a bunch of these potions of plentiful needs because I'm pretty sure all you need is an apple. So let's get it. I wish kids could take these potions. No, don't compliment his appearance. No, 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 that is not allowed. Oh, Dorian's here. What's up, bro? How you doing, dude? Good to see you. He's not quite an elder yet. He's still an adult, but he's gonna get there. He's gonna get there real quick. It looks like Kieran can now go potty on his own, which is nice. So I'm gonna get him just to keep going potty. <laughs> until he's maxed it. Ren is just over here working on her wellness skill. Charlie is spending some time with Dorian. What do you have to do now? Sleep? Uh, I'll allow it. See you later, Dorian. Thanks for visiting. What about you, love? What do you have to do? Go to bed? Oh yeah, you definitely need it. Why don't you take a bath first? Take a bath. Go to sleep. Get ready for school tomorrow. Did you do your homework? You did. Okay, good. Fantastic. You're all set. How about you, Felix? What are you doing? Just standing there? Let's read, let's read that photography book I got you to get that skill up. Oh, he decided to come into the graveyard with Batman to read his photography book. Isn't that sweet? All right, this bean's about to wake up soon. I'm gonna actually get her up, get her to go to the bathroom. <laughs> did she do her homework? Oh, you can do your extra credit. Okay, go ahead and do that. Stella, how many potions of plentiful knees did you make? Just one. Oh, did you not bottle it? Is that why? Ah, yes, 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 okay. Bottle up all. Wellness level eight. Good job, Ren. Very good. All right, so she bottled up. She was supposed to bottle up all the contents. What the frick happened to it? There's nothing. Oh my gosh, how annoying. Okay, well, let's try this again. All right, she drank a potion. Look at her mood now. Like, we don't even need to do anything. <laughs> It's kind of ridiculously overpowered, but hey, take advantage of it, you know? Ooh, a potion that will increase the speed your sim gain skills. Oh, that's awesome. I'm gonna give that to Zoe. There you go, Stella. There you go. Bottle up all. Okay, let's see how many potions we get. What? Why are you thinking about Darth Vader, you weirdo? Ah, okay, we get four potions from brewing one pot of it. And I think we only need to use one apple. Why would you not take advantage of this, you know? Kieran, how's that potty skill? Ooh, it's almost maxed. No, no, no freaking, uh, no, um, no dollhouse. I need you to get potty trained. Oh, thanks for cleaning that, Ren. Love this outfit, too. Oh, where'd you go? <laughs> there you are. Okay, keep practicing that yoga, though. Maybe if we give Charlie this potion of emotional stability, he won't be depressed anymore. Let's give that a shot. Charlie, what do you think? Drink the potion? Feel better? Oh, he's having some cake. He's having some cake to deal with his depression. I mean, mood. But uh, go ahead and drink the potion. Oh my gosh, look at that. His only moodlet is happy for four hours. Love to see it. Did you finish brewing that potion, Stell? Did you? Okay, come over here and bottle it. Oh my gosh, and our plants are ready to be sold again. 
Oh, and look at that. We've got perfect green beans, perfect mushrooms. So what are these? Oh my gosh, perfect tomatoes as well. So that means we can cook something with perfect quality ingredients now, which is great. What are these? Perfect bell peppers. Harvest the bell peppers. Oh, I love to see it. Love to see it. Okay, and Kieran maxed his potty skill. So you don't have to do that anymore, my boy. <laughs> Very good job. Proud of you. Your movement skill is pretty high too. Perhaps we can work on that. You are energized, so go wander around, okay? Okay, you guys, we started this uh, episode with like $800,000. And look at that, we've almost made $100,000 in one episode. Dude, crazy, crazy, am I right? Am I right? Okay, so Ren is super thirsty. Where are your plasma packs? Oh my gosh, you don't have any plasma packs? Okay, let's, uh, let's buy some. Wow, Kieran, wow. You are such a butthole. Look at that, he just threw his food on the ground. Oh my gosh. If you guys don't know, he is a fussy toddler, so very hard to take care of. Oh god, there's a fire? Where? 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 No one die. Just, just extinguish it. Just calm down and extinguish it. Just extinguish it. Okay. Extinguish! There you go. Good girl. Holy cannoli, dude. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, regional manager for Stella. No. Oh god, I accepted it. Shoot. Shoot, 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 shoot. Okay, let's quit. Let's quit. Let's quit. I don't want that doesn't fit her at all. Quit job. I am waiting for a good job opportunity though for for Stella. So, we're just waiting for that right call. Yes, quit. Yes, yes, yes. No, don't pee yourself. Oh my god. Okay. Drink one of those. Drink a potion and then, nah, and then come over here and please repair this. Ay, ay, ay. Mm, nice job, love. Very nice job. So Stella's job is to be a stay-at-home mom and brew potions. <laughs> Why does everyone want Ren to be in the entertainment business? I don't get it. Ah, look who's here. Who's this again? Kane. Kane, Kane, Kane. Actually, you guys don't really look alike. You have a ha more of a hamburger head than he does. Wait, who's this? Who's this? Who's this? Who's this? Shalene, don't like it. What's your name? Elder? You don't look like no elder. You look like a teenager. Let it slide. I'll let it slide, though. I was hoping you may might be a good fit for Felix. Oh, Stella has two of these potions. Or Zoe, I mean. Let, um, let's get her to drink one. And then come run with your chest out. Hopefully that'll make your uh, skill go up faster. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? <gasps> Yay, she leveled up! She leveled up just by drinking a potion? Wow, okay. Let's let's spend some talent points for her then. Uh, so I'm thinking knowledge is magic is probably best. And then experiment her. All right, there you go. Run, girl, run. Skill boost. Zoe will learn skills much faster as long as this potion effect is active for four hours. <gasps> oh no! Stella got the curse of uncleansable stench from failing to make a potion. Crap, how do you get rid of curses? I don't think I've ever done this in The Sims before. Oh no, that's so bad. What happens if she tries to take a shower? Oh no, nothing's happening. Shoot, she's just gonna be stinky forever. And here I thought being a spellcaster was easy peasy. Oh, hey, Caleb, what's up? <gasps> Ren, come, come, come say hi to your friend. Why is Karen still in there? Aw, here's Max, Max Jr. Aw, wanna hang out tonight? Nah, dog, we busy though. He's like, so you had that kid, huh? <laughs> I wonder what his career is. Does he even work? Oh, he's so depressed. A researcher at SIMS. All right, then. Well, it's good to see you there, Caleb. Thanks for stopping by. Alice ain't here, though. Oh, cuties. Oh, gosh, why is he so heartbroken? Flynn. Oh. 
Oh! Oh, right. I knew that was going to happen. I freaking knew it. I knew it. What are you going to try and do now? Ask for a question. I carumba. You really need some vampire energy. So why don't you do some dark meditation and have yourself a bath because you definitely need it. Oh my gosh, look. <laughs> I just made Felix bust out his camera to take a picture and this is what we got. How sweet. It's so cute. Love the fangs. I'm just gonna randomly do that sometimes because I know that that helps with their for their photography skill. My boy, eat those noodles. Homegirl is just here, kicking the soccer ball. 56 times without dropping it? That's a new record. That's my girl. Very good job. All right, let's have something to eat. Let's have, let's have a garden salad for her. Why are you still in the shower? You're just, you, you have a curse. How do you get rid of it? Eternally drenched in the smelliest of gym sweat, showering does nothing. Okay, how do you get rid of curses? I have no freaking idea. Uh, maybe it's in the spell book? Uh, potion of cursed cleansing, but we don't know it though. Dang. Poor Stella, I feel so bad for her. Oh my god, and look at- look at the state of this shower. Disgusting. Since we have some perfect quality ingredients, one of the things that, um, we need to do for Legacy Challenge is cook a meal with the highest quality ingredients. So let me see what we can make. Any vegetable, any herb. Um, let me see, let me see, let me see. Okay. It looks like we need an herb now, which is really annoying. I don't think we have any perfect quality herbs, but let me see, let me see, let me see. We might have to wait till tomorrow until they bloom again. Are you kidding me? I swear we were growing herbs somewhere. Okay, I guess not. That's so annoying. <laughs> it's like one of the easiest plants to get to, an herb. All right, I got some herbs. I ordered some, so I'm gonna go ahead and plant them so that we can have some herbs to cook with. Poor Stella, I feel so bad for her. She's super pregnant super smelly like all the time and there's like nothing she can do about it poor bean oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh you guys okay luna got woken up by a freaking monster under her bed and luna just made friends with the monster under her bed she can't wait to find out more about it that's so crazy because this is the first time i've ever seen this is usually my sims fail to make friends with the monster she is just like turning more and more into the kind of character that we decided for her like every day like just darker like on the emo side chilling in graveyards making friends with monsters oh so cute i love her ew look look at the sludge that stella is leaving behind dude that is just disgusting Oh god, we need to figure out a way to get rid of that curse. Okay, let's see if there's something that we can cook without herbs in the regular cook menu. <sighs> um, any vegetable, tomato, onion. I know that we have onion. Any fish, okay. Everything calls for a freaking onion. Alright, we have to wait until the onions um, sprout again and the herbs and we'll be good. We'll be good on that. I'm just having Kieran work on his movement right now. Um, because he's pretty energized, so now's the perfect time. You, my love, please go back to bed. Please. Dude, look at that. What the heck? Whatever, Ren, you big show-off. Oh god, what do we got? What phase? Zoe is going through a rebellious phase? No! I don't like to see it. No, I don't. Are you guys ready for school? Okay, use the bathroom, my love. Get leftovers. Are you ready for school? You just need a shower. Go ahead and do that. Class in 24 hours? What? No, go to school. Go to school, go to school, go to school. Go, go, go. Oh god, now Luna is in a, a, a loud phase. Okay, great. All of our kids are in phases. That's just beautiful. Zoe is almost an A student. That means we can almost get her to make friends at school. I really need Stella to keep experimenting so we can figure out how to get rid of this curse. Oh my gosh, she's in labor. Holy cannoli, that was fast. 
Okay, okay, okay. Instead of doing that, let's go to the hospital, love. So I have some names. Ooh, a big test is coming up in history. Felix is doing okay, but a good score would really boost his overall grade. Should he do his usual amount or study? Uh, study a lot, of course. Ren has reached a wellness level nine. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so, right. If it's a girl, I have a few options here. I'm not really sure if I want to wait because I really like this name. There we go. He got a small performance gain. That's what I'm talking about. Wait, are you telling me that this Ramona chick is going to deliver our baby? Very interesting. What is with all the ghosts? Oh no, Joshua. Joshua Key finally died. About time. Anyway, so if it's a boy, we're going to name him Bruce. This was one of your guys' ideas, actually, and I absolutely love it. Um... Since Charlie is a nerd and he really likes Batman and comics and stuff like that, um, not a nerd, a geek, sorry. <laughs> uh, since Batman's name is Bruce Wayne, I think that's such a good name for a boy. And if it's a girl, I have a few options here. It's between Mavis and Ophelia. I really love the name Mavis, so I kind of want to save it for another girl heir. But Mavis is also kind of spellcaster-y. Okay, I kind of hope it's a boy so I don't have to decide right now. <laughs> okay, Stella, let's get it. Let's have this freaking baby. Oh my god, yes. All right, Bruce it is. Bruce, Bruce, Bruce. I kind of want to put Bruce Wayne, but I'll hold off. On the plum tree app family tree, I will put Bruce Wayne, though. Yay, a boy, a boy, a boy, a boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Lots of boys lately, guys. A lot. And she always puts this outfit on after giving birth. It's kind of funny. That's our girl. The baby making machine. Very good. Very good, very good, very good. So exciting. All right, and bills were delivered. So Stella, why don't you go ahead and pay those? 819? Not bad, not bad at all. All right, where's the baby at? Donde esta child? It's probably upstairs in it. No? Ramona's spirit is fading away? That's literally the girl who just delivered the baby. What are you talking about? All right, gang, let's see if these onions are ready. I think they are. These are it, right? Oh no, that's Taro. Ah, here we go, here we go. Okay, harvest onions. Okay, good. Zoe is now an A student. Felix is a B student. Luna's still a B student. Oh man. Um, what's up, Ren? One of my friends heard about how great you are, <laughs> Rosie. Okay, sure, whatever. I guess we're down. All right, Kieran has finally maxed his movement skill. Man, that took a lot of dancing. Holy cannoli. Okay, you can stop now. The next thing that I want to work on for you... Should we just do thinking then? Come over here and place some shape on the tablet. It looks like everyone is stopping by to see the baby. And because it's technically a quote-unquote holiday. <laughs> oh man. Don't just sit there doing nothing, girl. You gotta, you gotta work on your skills. Oh, that mood though. Okay, okay, maybe later. Go to the bathroom, have something to eat, and go to sleep. Still haven't put a shirt on Charlie. It is what it is, you know? <laughs> oh my gosh, so many phone calls. No, who died? No. Oh no, freaking Kane. Oh. Everyone's starting to die. It's like that time. It's like, it's like a roller coaster. You get a break from deaths and then everyone starts dying and then you get another break and then everyone starts dying. Poor baby Stella. Uh, she has way too many moodles going on right now to even, like, process that at the moment. Okay, so, Ren, let's go ahead and cook that meal then. We're gonna do... let's see... We can do chicken stir-fry. We have perfect onions, we have perfect mushrooms. So let's do that. Let's do a party size. I was gonna get Charlie to cook, but it's okay, you can cook because you need to do this. The bubbly magic of the cauldron reveals an unexpected gift. An apple! Right, because we, uh, we don't have enough of those. Okay, there we go. There we go. Excellent chicken stir-fry with two perfect quality ingredients. We can check that off the list now. 
Woo! All right, very exciting. Oh, Vlad's here. Fun! How very fun is that? All right, Luna's mood is actually pretty bad, so I'm gonna give her... I'm gonna give her a few of these potions so she can get up, work on herself, instead of worrying about her needs, you know? Bada bing, bada boom. She is feeling rather depressed, which is quite sad, but there you go. Okay, so go ahead and practice your juggling. Felix, how are you doing? You could use a potion. Oh, look at this freaking handstand she's doing. Holy cannoli. That's crazy. <laughs> um, so today is uh, Winterfest. Winterfest Eve, actually. The baby needs a feed in. Kieran has been on his tablet for quite some time. So I'm thinking, let's see, let's see, let's see. Do they have school today? Hmm, I thought they might have had it off. Oh my gosh, look at these two. <laughs> Synchronized homework, I love it. I actually think they might have today off. Yep, they do. That's exciting, that's exciting. Okay, so since it's Christmas Eve, once it gets nighttime, oh, we need a tree. <gasps> and we need to put up decorations. Okay, Stella, can you put up some decor? Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, let's bust out the tree. Okay, there we go. I put a tree, I put some presents, some other miscellaneous decorations. I really, really, really want to redo this house just because... We have a lot of money, and I don't know, maybe we could have something like pretty big and grand for a change instead of it always being such a tight fit. But I have a feeling if we do do that, that build will take me so long, so freaking long, but I'm okay with that. I haven't done a good build in a while. I kind of really want to give them all cute little Christmas outfits and we can go out, maybe do some ice skating. I'm gonna try and make this quick. So let's add a new cold weather outfit for you, Ren. You can wear, hmm. Okay guys, here we are for Ren. Very classic Christmas. Okay, so there's Stella's outfit. That was really, really fast and easy. <laughs> Mr. Charlie, oh my gosh, we haven't given Charlie a new outfit in forever. All right, we'll just put you in a red. Hmm, actually, should we do the red button up? All right, there you go, Charlie. And then we've got Zoe. Oh, wow. She's actually, wow, she's almost max musc muscle. That's insane. Okay, what what is your cold weather outfit again? Oh, I love this. I love this so much. But let's find you something more festive, shall we? Okay, and there's the outfit for Zoe. Real, real cute. Mr. Kieran, what you got for cold weather? Aww, so adorable. <laughs> I think we could just get away with putting him in a red sweater and maybe these pants perfect felix <laughs> oh that's pretty festive i guess we could just go with that and then luna oh my gosh look at that that is real festive i don't even know if she'd be down to wear that oh okay yeah let's do this sweater and then we'll do just some plain pants okay there that's good all right everyone's got their little christmas eve outfits on I guess we can go out and go exploring and see if there's like a good lot we could chill at. This episode has been pretty chill. Nothing weird has gone on at all. We haven't had a birthday, so no creative sim either. Sad day. But we were able to have one more kid, which is nice. I can't believe we have a full household. When was the last time we had a full house? Have we ever had a full house in this? Why do I feel like we haven't? Okay, I'll wait till later on. Um, perhaps we should do some tree decorating. Oh my gosh, it's almost Bruce's birthday. Wait, are we gonna see toddler Bruce in this episode? We are! And we need to give Charlie his potion of youth. Ay caramba, okay. Okay, okay. Uh, let's go ahead and grab that now, just so I don't forget. 5,000, wow. Wild. I'm actually going to get him to take it now because I really don't want him to age up on accident. There you go, Charles. Nice and aged down. Here we go. Drink it. Drink it. 
Oh my god, you butthole. Oh, he took it, he took it, he took it. Okay, okay. All right, beautiful. Beautiful. Stella's got- oh my gosh, Stella's got a lot of time. Charlie's a lot older. Alright then. Look at what's going on here. We got some freaking floating going on. We got magic. There's just a lot. <laughs> This present pile is massive too. I had everybody add a gift. Aw, she's putting ornaments on the tree. Cute! She's like, I wanna help you. Why didn't you ask me to help you? All right, fine. You can do the garland. Do some popcorn and cranberries. Cute little bean. Aw. It would be really cool if we could make it to a million in this episode, but we need to harvest the plants one more time before we can do that. We should hang out soon. Are you cool with that? Ooh, Chadwick spitting some game to Miss Zoe. That's what I like to see. So it's getting kind of late, so I guess we should probably go and head out and do the little Christmas Eve things we wanted to do. <gasps> there's actually an ice skating ring out here and there's a little um thingy so i guess we can all come out here and just go ice skating or yeah let's do it let's do it invite to skate okay they're all skating but none of them are wearing their cute outfits that i oh and stella is for some reason still in her hospital gown and i can't click her to get her to change <laughs> My game is just not having it right now. Aww. This is actually adorable. I probably can't click on them because they're skating, but... How cute. Stella, get out of your hospital gown, you freaking weirdo. I will never understand. I wonder what they got here. What you got? What you got? What you got? Mmm, let's get some hot cocoa, Charlie. You guys, we were able to do it because of this interest thing that Ren has. I still don't know what this is from, but we just got almost 50 grand from it. <gasps> we're millionaires. We're actually millionaires. I can't even believe it. I'm just getting Luna to get some hot cocoa because she almost freeze froze to death right now. <laughs> So, yeah, that's vibes. She's really sad, though. Who was it that died that she was close to? Oh! Was it Kane? She doesn't even know anyone that died. That's weird. Ooh, a pizza. Eat that pizza. I'm gonna get everyone to order a nice drink. Just hang out. Sparkling apple juice sounds yummy. Everyone is so pissed off about Stella's stench. I'm sorry, Felix. I'm real sorry. I don't know what you want me to do about it. I'm gonna get them to build a snowman. Cute times, eh? I hope they build that freaking rocker one. That would be so... <laughs> So appropriate. <laughs> Love them. They're so cute. You okay, Zoe? Oh, she's over here taking a hot bath. Oh my god. That CC though. Oh, Lilith is here. Or I mean like who the baby daddy is. Stella! You're just leaving your muck everywhere. It's disgusting. I need to figure out how to fix this. I need to figure it out. Well, tomorrow is Christmas. Um, oh my gosh, the tree looks so cute. It needs a tree skirt, actually. Charlie, what are you doing? Can you please take care of the child? And you know what? It's technically his birthday, so I'm thinking maybe we should end this episode. Let's age him up, and then we can give him his makeover. And then in the next episode, we'll celebrate Christmas. We will... What else is... What else? What else? Ooh, Kieran. We'll age up Kieran. That should be really fun. And then it'll be New Year's Eve. And, um... I'm kind of hoping we can find sig significant others for Zoe and Felix as well. I have a feeling next episode's gonna be a good one. I also want Ren to maybe meet up with Kieran's dad. Oh my gosh, Bruce had two heads for a second there. Um... Yay! Okay, Bruce- oh yes! Angelic! Love it. Love to see it. Um... oh my gosh. How was he that pale as a baby and age up like this? Whoa, Stella! Somebody get her! She's dancing like a stripper! 
Oh, man. I don't even know if I said that right, but that's what it reminded me of. Okay, so let's go ahead and give Bruce his makeover. Um, I'm excited. I'm very excited. But what was I going to say, though? Oh, yeah. I want to um, take Ren on a date with... Not a date, just like a little like hangout session so he can maybe meet the kid. And yeah, we'll kind of see how that goes. All right, let's have a look at you. I have a feeling another hamburger head is coming. Okay, so this wasn't a skin detail. I think this is probably more realistic. And then I gave him these brows. And do you even have a skin detail on? I don't think that you do. Let's slap one on you then. There you go. And this eye color. Oh yeah, Charlie has noodle eyes. Okay, and then Stella has, right, brown eyes. But I guess that makes sense because Olive had yellow eyes, so I guess she could have passed it down. I'm just trying to make this as realistic as possible. I know it's so freaking hard with Sims jeans, to be honest. But uh, let's see what hair looks good. Oh my god, cute. Aww. Did he have brown hair when he aged up? I think he did. Oh yeah, that's right. He had this hair. I think we're probably just gonna have to keep this hair because it looks the best. All right, guys. Here is Mr. Bruce all done. I hope that you guys like him. I think he's really, really, really cute. And honestly, I have been kind of waiting for a baby that was more on Charlie's side of the spectrum because all of our kids so far have been more like Stella. So yeah, I think that's going to be the end of this episode. It was actually very uneventful, was it? Wasn't it? <laughs> But I had a lot of fun like skill building and stuff. We actually got a lot done like in regard to the challenge And I think Stella has almost gotten to the top tier for um, magic I don't even know what to call it. Her magic skill is almost at the top. Yeah, she's almost there She's almost a virtuoso, which is wild. Oh, and she has two talent points to be spent Okay, let's do that really quick. Oh, uh, a natural mentor would be good so she can mentor um Zoe. Oh man, protected from curses. That would be so clutch, wouldn't it? Okay, let's do the moat hound one and then let's do charge control. So next time she levels up, we can get the hexproof one. Oh man, curses suck. This is the first time I've ever experienced one, so... Cool. Anyways, you guys, please let me know in the comments what you think of this episode. Let me know what you think of Bruce as well. I love you so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!